Hi there, how are you doing today? Uh, I got to tell you, I've been waiting a long time to create this particular video. Uh, you know, as, as many of you know, I, uh, I retired on March 15th, and uh, one of the things I wanted to make sure I added to my uh, bag of tricks was the ability to do uh, uh, successful flips. And I'm, I'm really happy to say we're going to review uh, what will become uh, the first flip and, and really test the idea that um, I've been able to find an insecure uh, solid flip deal. So let me go through it with you and, and you tell me what do you, what do you think? So as always, we're going to go through the goal. So we're going to review the property in detail, sort of run through the numbers. Some of them will be estimates just given where we are in the, in the process. Uh, but I want to share uh, the nitty gritty with all of you and, and just keep everybody uh, informed. I want to give you the plan, sort of what the uh, what the plan is and timelines and, and all of that. I uh, also want to highlight that uh, I have a partner on this deal and, and uh, one of my friends uh, decided to be a part of the 6 and 20 program, which uh, which I'll go through in details. And then uh, likely give you a plan for what how I'll keep all of you up to date as we go forward. So. So here's the reality I've found. Um, it's a seller's market. And I might even argue it's becoming a hotter seller's market. So the only way I'm going to find deals um, you know, out of the MLS, which is where I have to search today, is by being willing to find and identify properties that have challenges or problems. Uh, and I'm going to get paid for fixing those problems. This is... Uh, not easy to do in the MLS and why you will see me create videos to um, initially start generating leads from our off-market listings. Off-market listings being motivated sellers that want to get out for whatever reason and, and uh, they want a cash buyer or you know some other system. So you'll, you'll see me market to those. But as of today, these first six weeks or so, uh, it's all been um, going through the MLS. In this case, um, it's a two-house property. Uh, I call it with a kicker, as the title here is. Um, the first house is actually rented out to a, a solid Section 8 tenant uh, who's been there seven years uh, and rent's paid up on time. Um, unit is kept great. We've done a walkthrough. Uh, it's, uh, it's, pretty, it's a pretty big two-bedroom house and uh, producing solid rent. So here's the kicker and the problem, if you will, that I'm going to get paid or rewarded to fix. House number two is actually occupied by someone who's decided to become what is known in real estate as a squatter. Uh, you know, there's a long story behind it. Basically, um, the person who it was leased to moved, they quote unquote sublet it to a friend. That friend has decided to work the system and the current owner um, doesn't want to deal with it anymore. So I'm going to get paid uh, for patience and running an efficient uh, process. So I'm actually going to budget four months for this eviction, which is what it's called. Um, there's no lease, there's nothing. So uh, the clock will start when we take ownership and we will go through the legal process of vacating that unit. Uh, I am budgeting a $10,000 in make ready costs uh, behind that. So again, in a hot seller's market, uh, uh, the challenge for me is to find properties who have um, challenges and more specifically those challenges that the existing owner doesn't want to tackle. So that's what we're going to do. So here's the deal, right? So that's just a picture of the house. Uh, purchase price is agreed to at 115. That happens to be the two bedroom, one bath house you're seeing a picture of. Again, it's nice condition, you know, all of that good stuff. Uh, there is a one, one, uh, behind it, uh, which I unfortunately don't have a picture of just yet. Uh, but you know, it's there. So here's the here are the numbers in detail. So again, 115 is the purchase price. I'm going to estimate 3,000 in closing costs. I'm, I put in 12,000 in make ready, which includes the legal fee uh, in there. So the round number of the total invested is going to be 130 grand. I estimate the sale price to go between 190 and 160. Again, it's a seller's market, uh, and I think having two units fully rented uh, in nice condition, uh, certainly the one one completely remodeled and ready to go. Um, could go as high as 190 and then there's the low end um, of 160 so I split the split it right down the middle I'm gonna estimate 12,000 in closing costs which is commissions and all of that other stuff so if you do run the math at 175 minus 12,000 in estimated closing costs plus the initial 130 K uh, investment 
uh, that's going to have an estimated profit of, of $33,000. I estimate this running sort of from close to close, meaning when I close and ultimately close to a uh, another buyer, somewhere between six and eight months. I think it's going to be four months from close before I even get into the back unit at any kind of regular details and making repairs. Um, I don't expect it to be a long remodel. I'm, I'm thinking less than two weeks once, once we're in there. Um, but you never know what you can run into. So that is the plan for the problem. Um, how the numbers look. <clears throat> Again, I have a partner on this. A friend has decided to invest. He liked the idea of having a little bit of uh, income now uh, during the hold period. And then more importantly, he's really excited about partnering with me uh, when we profit. So he, uh, as, as um, the program outlines, is he's going to loan the purchase price of 115 grand. Uh, and I'm going to fund everything else. So I'm doing the repairs, make readies, legal fees, all of that. Uh, and then I'm going to pay him 6% on that 115, which happens to work out to $575. The nice thing for me on this one is because the first unit is rented at almost $800 a month, uh, most of that um, is going to be, this payment to him is going to be covered by the rent. Uh, and um, I'm just going to be sitting tight and waiting for vacating and dealing with the back unit. There'll be some expenses for sure on my end, um, which I am happy to do and, and happy to take that risk profile and, and make sure that my lender, my friend, is, is well taken care of, but um, really excited about how this came together. Uh, again, house number one is actually going to pay uh, most, if not all, this 575. I expect there'll be some maintenance issues and whatnot in the front unit. Uh, I also expect to go back to Section 8 and ask for a raise uh, in the rent, um, but we're definitely going to keep that tenant. Uh, she's been there for a long time and, and, and paid rent for seven years running. So that's, that's uh, you know, you don't get rid of tenants like that. So we're going to keep keep her. Uh, and then upon the sale, again, just, just rounding out this story, my friend's going to get 20% of the estimated profit of, of 33000 So uh, my math says that's just over sixty five or a total of $6,600. So again, my friend's interested, right? He's got a full-time job, very busy. Uh, he's going get to get, you know, decent return on his money in the short term. At $575, he's in a very secured position because he's only dealing with the purchase price while I take the risk of the repairs and, and make ready and all of that. Uh, and then we share in the uh, profits as we end, and um, you know, he should be very excited with that. So again, I'll keep you informed. Um, you know, I expect to, once we get inside the back unit, I'll, I will go ahead and take some pictures and, and give you more of a detailed plan for that remodel. You know what we're going to do uh, in there, uh, and then you know as we you know turn around and list it, I, I will keep you informed. So, again, do me a favor if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Also, uh, make sure you share this video with friends and family. I think there's a lot more people out there that could benefit from um, someone sharing investment uh, ideas in, in real estate. So, uh, and as always, you want to get a hold of me, uh, there's my email address. Take care.